Hey guys, it's Timo. Um, it's about 5 a.m. and I'm having trouble sleeping. I just watched the Bridegroom documentary by Shane Bitney Crone and his friends. I know Jason and I usually do like fun little movie review type things and I, I kind of wanted to do something about this or I had thought about maybe doing a, a video about it, but this is such a different experience for me that I kind of wanted to do something different and just get the ideas out of my head or get my reaction out of my head. I had a, I had like a really strong reaction to it. I mean, I think most people probably tear up a little bit or cry a little bit during the film, but I certainly did. But this is the first time that I can remember ever sort of after I watched the movie, I watched it by myself kind of late at night and then, you know, got ready for bed and brushed my teeth and, you know, got my pajamas on and kind of got ready for bed. And, and uh, I just broke down crying and I just sobbed for like five minutes. And I don't I don't think I've ever done that before um, in response to a, a film of any kind. I think I was expecting more about uh, marriage equality and the fight for marriage equality, um, but it's not, it's very simple. It's just about, um, it's just a love story. It's, it's a documentary about the love between, you know, Tom and Shane. And it's, it's just this amazing moving thing you know, I mean, it does a little bit. It talks a little bit about marriage at the end and and shows a picture of the Supreme Court building and stuff like that. But, I mean, it doesn't spend a lot of time on it. I've been following Shane on on uh, Twitter for a long time, um, pretty much since right after I saw the um, It Could Happen to You video. I made a lot of my friends, like, sit down and watch it. I mean, I think I grabbed my roommate and said, you know, you need to watch this. And right then we sat and watched like all like 12 minutes of it or whatever it is. I posted it on my Facebook and asked family members to watch it and sort of help you understand like this is what it's about. This is this is why it's so important that we have equal civil rights. So I've kind of been watching him tweet for a long time and he really is, you know, love is louder. And, uh, you know, he's obviously been very involved in the fight for marriage equality. Uh, so, I mean, I know that Bridegroom has actually been out for a while. I have wanted to see it from the moment um, it was released. And I, I'll be honest, I kind of stayed away from it because I had this feeling um, that it would ruin my day. And, I mean, in a good way. But uh, I just had this feeling that it was really going to affect me. And I, I think it, it's obvious that it has. And, uh, you know, I... I I just feel like everybody should watch this movie. It's very powerful and it's very simple in its power. And I really feel like um, it's much more articulate about just love in general and why love is important and why uh, marriage equality is important. It's just truly more remarkable how, how much of an open book Shane has been about this whole experience and he kept um, video diaries from a, clearly a very young age and uh, his video diaries after Tom was gone, um, which is, you know, a lot of what the YouTube video was made of. Um, they're, they're, they're so moving and so raw and real and it's just so painfully obvious how much he misses Tom and how much he loved him. And, and I think the thing that, the, 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 the part that bothered me the most and I think the part that really overwhelmed me was when he said, that he finally bought a ring for Tom and was just so upset that he had never been able to bring himself to do that when Tom was still alive and he just completely breaks down and I just lost it completely watching the film and uh, I think that part bothered me the most. I don't know if there can be spoilers but sorry for the spoiler but uh, it just it really is a gift that Shane has, has allowed us to see truly the depth of his love and his his struggle and his experience in life this is such a beautiful story of love that these two guys were just meant for each other having been single for a long time and having you know gone through phases of really wish wishing that i could find something like that or wondering if that even exists it's it's sort of beautiful to see that uh there is such love in this world and it's so heartbreaking that it was you know that it was taken away in such a haphazard fashion uh, i don't want to overstate it again but things like this don't come along all that often anyway thanks for thanks for watching and uh um see see bridegroom um it's on netflix and uh it's available in every red box i believe in the country um so support red box because it's amazing that they're that they're taking that risk they are getting a little flack for it and uh, a lot of support for it. So um, anyway, yeah, see it. See Bridegroom.
Thanks, guys.